Hey guys, here is Estra from the ArabianWonders.com and today I woke up in a new city. Yesterday my sleep was a bit weird only because I was allergic to something in my friend's flat. And guess what I'm allergic to? Most people are allergic to cats or dogs or whatever. I'm allergic to Mr. Olive Tree. Oh my god, I'm not even joking. I'm allergic to olive trees and all night yesterday I was trying to sleep and my eyes were watery and I was sneezing. Just like standing by it is making me sneeze and it's really funny because I didn't realize it was an olive tree until I woke up. But yeah, he kept me, or she, I don't know, um, kept me awake. But even with the lack of sleep, I want to go and explore the city and let me take you with me. And guess what? I have to get down five floors on foot, which is fine going down, but coming up to the flat yesterday was, let's say, a very big workout. Welcome to Berlin. I finally made it from the fifth floor and now I'm ready to explore the city. And there are three things I want to explore on this very short trip. The Islamic history, the Jewish history, and the cool side of the city. One of the things I wanted to do in Berlin first is to explore the Muslim history. So I'm here at the oldest cemetery for Muslims in the whole of Germany, which happens to be in Berlin. And it dates back to the 18th century. And the same site of the cemetery is now a mosque. This mosque has been completed in 2005 and it's very much the same style as the old Turkish mosques from the 15th to the 17th century. So it's very interesting to see that. Um, there are a lot of different mosques in uh, various locations of Berlin, but the Turkish population here is not just in Berlin, like in Germany, is about three millions because the migrants came from the 60s and stayed on and now they're like fourth generation of the Turkish population which makes it the largest ethnic minority here in Germany. In general the religion of Islam in Germany is considered as five percent of the population's religion and it's very interesting to see that diversity. The great thing about having um, a lot of Muslims here is is like you can find a lot of halal places and one of them is little joint that sells shawarmas and it's very popular. I came to test it in person. Now that I've seen the Islamic history in Berlin, I'm very interested in going to see a dark period of Berlin's history when uh, the Holocaust happened and all the murders that happened to the people of the Jewish faith and I'm heading to the main memorial that they have here in Berlin. so many spaces for you to go and learn about what happened, the individuals that were important, um, like, and there are like paid and free museums, so like the information is available for everybody. It's really tragic what happened and thankfully currently people can express their own religion here in Berlin and there is a beautiful synagogue that was completed in 2005 so let's go and see happier days. Although you have to keep in mind that religion is always used politically and it's never rainbows and sunshine and I put some articles in the description below um, about what's happening. The Muslims who had a role in helping some of the Holocaust victims especially Albania and how like 
There are a lot of efforts between the Muslim and the Jewish communities to stay together. My favorite article that I saw was an imam and a rabbi cycling through the city to show solidarity with each other and I think this is a beautiful effort to keep all of us together because united we stand stronger. Everybody. Let's go see the synagogue. is not all about the serious things and the history although it really affected it for decades now it's time to see some of Berlin's fun creative atmosphere of the city a lot of people come to Berlin because it's um, an accepting city like you can express your style get to know yourself a lot of artists ended up coming here so let's go and look at some street art and a few other things The three days in Berlin passed really quickly and it was barely enough to scratch the surface. Hopefully I'll come back again and explore more of what this city has to offer. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.